My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball, and what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced, the insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down, trace the line and do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is an Great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstisGolf.com if you have any questions. This, this pressure trace in the top, upper right hand corner, you start with 72% of your weight on your left foot, but look how you load your toes there. Yeah. Now during the course of your swing, I was trying to get you to feel like you're... Going back on that. Yeah, you feel like you're, you're, your right back. heel's getting a lot of weight. And you are doing pretty good there. It's much better. Consequently, you're, uh, as you get deeper into that heel with your weight, you're going to see much better results when it comes to early extension and moving forward. Club gets a little on the inside on the takeaway, but there's your trace, 78% on the right heel. You change the direction. Got a high velocity change of direction there, as indicated by that number there, 257 lateral. That measures the speed that you change directions with, how quickly you, right. you uh, are, are using the ground. So that's good. That's a good delivery position. Weights into the left heel. You can see how your weights on your left toe, though. You see? Yeah, I still see it. 100%. Way back there. So at impact, you know, that's why I was trying to get you to feel into the heel more. Yeah. And that's what's causing the early extension. You got to get that weight back into your left heel at impact, which pushes your left hip deeper yeah. away from the, the ball. And that whole thing is going to, that's a motor training exercise you can do at your house. You can just put a club across your feet make your right knee. Now, of course that club is going to be at a 45 degree angle across your right toe and left heel and then you just work on pushing the right knee toward the left ankle and you're pushing into that heel and that will get the hips deeper. Okay. You know if you go on YouTube and you type in body track sports yeah. it'll show you some traces of some of the best players uh, um, tour players that they've gotten right. and a typical trace would be the weight will get into that left heel or more in the middle of the shoe at impact. Now there are some guys that get up on their toes. I won't lie to you, but they don't get their hips right. forward either. Forward, yeah. So, but right, overall right. the swing looks good. I don't think you're going to stand up if you can get that weight back into the heel. Because think about it, if your weight goes to the heel, your head, watch my head, if I go into the heel, right, my head goes, goes down, down because the pelvis moves back. Yep. Your lower spine and your upper spine are connected. It's like it's going to go. 